Hello, this is Richie, and welcome to Augusta All Elite Podcast, where I review AEW-related stuff and etc. Today, I will start with AEW Dark Elevation, then Dark, then Dynamite. So, here we go. We got Shavant, Paul White, welcoming us for the fourth episode of AEW Dark Elevation. Mm-hmm. Let's start. Adam Page versus Bill Collar. Collar picks up Page right from the get-go. Then Chops, Collar, recuperate. Collar got a huge right to Page's chin, which knocked him down. Page tried to fire back again, but Collar cut him right off. Collar landed a solid suplex. Page rolled out of a move and threw Collar to his outside. Page followed up with a punch over the top rope. Back inside, Page hit a follow-away sign on a much larger Collar. Collar was perched on the top rope. Page hit a Frankenstein, then follow up with a show after with a buckshot lariat for the win. Adam Page wins. Here's my take. This is a quick match. It was a good showcase for Page, especially against a larger Collar. Alexander Bravo versus Rusty Blondes. Garrison and Pillman Jr. The match ended when Garrison tagged in back in, caught Bravo and Pillman came up the top over the drop kick. Garrison covered for the win. Varsity Blondes won. Here's my take. It was a nice tag team match. The Varsity Blondes continued to work well, very together. In fact, Shavai noted it was a bit years since they first tagged together. But the Brit Breaker versus Alex Garcia. This was a squash match as as Baker reversed Garcia into a lock job for the tap out win. Britt Baker. Winner is Bait Breaker. It was an easy night for Britt Baker, but she made the most of her time with a strong promo and an overall effective showing. We got no- Dark Order number 10 versus Damning Limelight. 10 uses power advantage early on. Limelight head was landed in the turnbuckles. Limelight cut down Lime- Limelight cut down 10 with some some submissions working on the hurt arm, but but Lime the Limelight tried to lock him into the triangle sleeper. Ten punched his way out of it. He liked Limelight in a full nest of the top out victory. The winner, Dark Order number 10. This was a fun back and forth match. The story of the match was Limelight focused on Ten's arm, which with Ten overcoming the onslaught with his sheer power. Big Swallow versus Jasmine Allure. Swallow took Allure down and landed serious the knees. Swole power by Allure, then turn into a Texas Clover submission from a tap out. Winner, Big Swole. It was a quick match. Swole looked good. She tries to climb back in the rankings at the time up. Allure is still green, but worked well. Backstage, Seidel Brothers spoke with Dasha about the upcoming match with Scorpio Sky, Jim Page. Very Morales versus Mika Nakazawa. Nakazawa hit Morales with a tie top. Nakaza dropped Morales, cover for the win, Nakaza wins. This was fine. I'm not a huge fan of Nakaza. At least there was no baby oil this time around. I'm just trying to find plus side here everywhere. Baron Black versus Lance Archer with Jet St. Roberts joined co- Roberts joined the copper commentary. Archer hits Black with a black up for the win. After the match, Robert took the mic, spoke about always cutting off Sting's interviews. Robert said no one in the back asked him for a match, so Robert said they'll fight themselves. Archer said everyone else will get every time except him will make his own time. Archer said he respects Sting, but everything about Sting since he came back. Yet another quick match with Archer making quick work of Black this week. I shouldn't be too surprised, but Black's been getting a lot of work over weeks and months, so I guess this will get a little more offense here. The post-match promo made sense, but I wish they explained themselves on Dynamite instead of Elevation. Tessa Price versus Rio Miyazami. Miyazami hits Tessa Price with a spear for the win. This was a enjoyable match. There was a lot of showing in Price. And we had Price playing the heel. Miyazumi continues to press as well. She also lets the amount of showmanship and one which I appreciate. We got Max Caster versus Colt Cabana. Bowens got involved, distracted the referee. Caster hit Caban head first to a boombox, cover for the win. The winner, Max Caster. This is fine, but if I never like hit his second gear, I sure his quizzes, but the last time I reviewed a Caster match, I came in feeling the same way. We got Priest, Ryzen, D3, Fugo Del Sol versus Butcher Blade, Private Party with Hardy and Bunny. Private Party hit a double kick to Del Sol head. Butcher Blade hit the double T Papa, Del Sol for the win. Butters, Butcher Blade, Private Party. 
the Matt Hardy family office made quick work. Neo rises and the priest guy got to the ring. The Hardy family continue looks like an impressive foursome. We got an AEW Casino mobile game, ad air, whatever. A new segment called Showcase. Paul White sat down with John Silver. Learning a bit about his background in wrestling before making it to AEW. Silver said he started wrestling at 14 as Reynolds. Around the same time, they were initially called the Beaver Boys. Silver talked about being recruited. Dark Order called it the best decision. Silver talked about Brody Lee and the impact on his career. Silver said Brody Lee was already very genuine and cared about them as both performers and people. Silver talked about his current injury. He once said he's healed. He looks to win a championship in 2021. Matt Hardy versus Allen Five Angels. Angels charge Hardy into the corner. All right, Hardy hits Angel the DT. He was coming back. Hardy locks with a new submission called the win- Leech for the win. Matt Hardy's new submission hold the Leech. Yeah. After the match, Hardy took the mic. He said he's glad the first quarter is over so he can make all his money now. He called out Dark Order. He said he will destroy it with the HFO, the Hardy family office. Hardy didn't call out Darby Allen saying he's next on the list. If I take this, is okay. A bit slow at times, but overall, a solid match. Hardy looks good. Surprised it did not need outside air fares for the win. Scorpion Slot, Eat the Page versus Mike Seidel. All right, here's the main event. I hope y'all enjoy. Sky Seidel. Start things off, trade punches, kicks, all four men hit the ring. The side out butters, he made a double clothesline, they hit a double drop kick. Mike Sidell tagged in, came out top with a double stomp, across Sky's chest. As Mike Sidell was lurking Sky in the corner, he jumped off the page on the apron. Page dropped Mike's knee hard on the apron, giving Sky the advantage. Page stopped, tagged in, stopped away at Sidell's knee. Sky tagged back in, continue focus on Mike's knee. Sky tag packs back in to hammer away on Mike Seidel. Sky locked in a one legged Boston Crab, then stomped on the knee for good measure. Mike, Mike finally made the hot tag to Matt, who came in with a kicks to Sky. Matt hit a brain buster suplex on Sky for two count. Page tag in, ran, ran over Mike Seidel. Matt caught a pumpkin attack, nail Page with a spinning kick. Mike tagged in, fell for his knee. Side out, took Page down with a double wrist lock as the referee was trying to get him out of the ring. Sky hit the ring and nailed Mike in the knee. Page hit Mike with the Eagles edge for the win. The winners, <sighs> Scorpio Sky, Ethan Page. Here's my take. The story of this one was Sky, Page focused on Mike's injured knee. Was that there with a ton of offense? This one, as Sky, Page tried to keep things on the mat against the faster Idell brothers. Here's my thoughts on AEW Elevation. Quite the change in the pace this week with just 12 matches under 2 hours to last week 16 and a, 2 and a half. With that said, the matches flew by. Not the way they stood out to me. I did enjoy this last larger storyline progression. Although, though, as much I would like to see as explained to us in Dynamite, I would thought the new showcase segment with Paul White Johnson went well down. Is there any match deserving match on your honors? Maybe you have time for one. I recommend checking out. Price versus Yuzumi. Here's the result of AEW Dark. The Dark Order destroy Hawkins. St. Patrick, St. Scott. T Tess destroyed Allridge. Backlund and Justin Law. Jurassic Express destroyed Alexander Rex, Law- Rex Lawless. Ryan Ref defeated. You got the salt. The Butcher destroyed Don Cruz. Whatever. Sea Stars destroy Asma Lear and Vert Vixen. Red Velvet. Red Velvet. Red Velvet. I'm thinking about Red Velvet right now. I'm thinking about Red Velvet Cake. But here's this. Red Velvet Cotton King defeated Mai Ranowski and Vipress. <sighs> JD Drake defeated Baron Black. Joey Janela. Sunny Kiss defeated Aaron Fry and Casey Navarro. Matt Seidel defeated Mike Nanum. Matt Hardy defeated Mary Morales. And Bear Crunch defeated... The Hybrid 2, coming up, AEW Dynamite Review. Stay tuned. And we're back, and now this is an AEW Dynamite Review. We got Paige versus Max Caster, Jurassic Express versus Bear Country, Darby Allen versus J.D. Drake for the TNT Championship, The Bunny versus Ty Conti, Master Young Bucks versus Kenny Omega and the Good Butters. The winner, Paige versus Caster, Paige wins, Jurassic Express versus Bear Country, Jurassic Wins, Darby Allen, 
defeated J.G. Drake, but retained the title. The Bunny versus Ty Conti. Ty Conti wins. Ma- Mas Yambas lost to Kenny Omega and the Good Brothers. And, okay, let's go to... We got a Colt open with the Inner Circle rhyme and the fleet of cars. They leave them all all running, which is irresponsible, as all of them could easily stole. Not a great move. Tony's in the ring talking about the AEW tag teams. He brings out a Dev Triangle. Tony reminds us they won the tag team battle royal before Pakistan work. OC comes up and very nice friends. OC says it's nice to see all of them together again. We see a clip of Dev Triangle beating the shit out of OC at various points in his life. Chuck said, we still remember Pac said, and he understands that BF once sees the right on the wall, said they, they want to shot the next tag team champions, don't ya? Pac said they're far from worthy, so get the fuck out. Trent said he knows they're at the back of the line, so calm down. We're here to give you a heads up. The boys are back in town, also an alien. Jericho apologized for all the shit they did when they were bad guys. Said they were good guys now. He said MJ was the reason any of this happened. He said he's a pretty dumb guy, but he's smart about wrestling. Said he brought MJ up to keep an eye on him, use him. It said it almost worked, but he was one step ahead. He got outsorted by a guy who could do anything but put up a spray tan. The crowd started whirly chan. He says MJF is only 25 and ready at the pinnacle of the business. He says MJF thinks he's fine white, but all we're buying it all now. We got, we got to go smaller. Be better than Peter Avalon. Michael Zazai, get a better scarf. Plus, I have a scarf five years ago. I also got a clipboard in the back he could steal. He says MJ is a mark or max for, you, max for yourself. And the truth is, you'll never be better than me, and you know it. Tell you say he's the greatest mind pro wrestling history. He's raped by, by between Oli and Paul Roma and the Horseman. He says he can't tell which that TR guy is which. True. Sean Spears says that he's the only guy he got from Spears he texts for advice as he got fired from the Fed. Warlow, a million dollar brain, a 13 year old sent body. He said Warlow had to strip naked to count to 21. He said Inner Circle's back and they're going to be back on top. Pinnacle's going to die. May 5th, Pinnacle, Inner Circle, Blood and Guts. Dasha is back with Christian. Backstage with Christian, I mean. She says his debut match was impressive. How are you feeling? What's next? Christian says this was a culmination of a tie year working for a moment. Take it back was taken from seven years. He said Santa took him to the deep end of it and let him sink. And he loved every second of it. He says Frankie knows Christian isn't like everyone else. Times are rough. He says he and Christian are old friends. The study is a long time. He writes his, his to Team Tab. He said they can help each other. Tell Tab to sleep on it. I mean, Taz tells them to sleep on it. Godzilla Kaga calls a movie. Did you know that they were... You sure you know now? Bakhtar is the best kaiju in literally any any other opinion is wrong. QT has a message for Cody. Your mantra should be do the work for me. Ever since being in a friendship, all I've done is your work. You've been hiding behind masks, face paint, because even though you're Dusty's son, you're not, you're not shit. He calls a bargain brand sting. A little bit from Solo Shirts, even though he knows watching, he just knows... He is, trust him. He's big in UK. He does subway commercials. QT, this is his fucking factory now. This number gets old. Troy Shabbat says, Line to his fucking T. I have a power of ratchet stains music where I had to remind myself to breathe. Wow, this is interrupting. Who knew this could probably happen? Jake asks Sting where his gerbil is. Jake is saying, Sanity, when you keep doing the same thing over and over again, then Lance comes out and says, Stick up AEW and Jenna. He's trying to get close to championships and having it taken away. Sting takes the mic for Lance. Sting grabs the mic. Sting said he has to agree. This dumb Lance keeps getting taken out of the main event scene. Says Jake, what the fuck? Why are you letting this happen? He said Jake t- tells the Jake to help him. Sting drops a really nice promo telling Lance how to do it. Danny Page and Scorpio looks on and laughs. We got Teen Times here. Star says Cage won on Dark, so let's hear from him. Taz said stop instigating. You did this last week. Taz said, we got to stop being so fucking dumb all the time. We got Rich and maybe Joey. We could all stop being dumbasses. Hook is there. Butcher Blake jacked up Darby at this match. Buddy tries to get an announcement off the tail, but Dark Order comes out of the story. Dark Order. Conti got shots in on Alley. The segment ends. Marvez is with Jericho. NJF knocked him in the fuck out. Pinnacle Hall mounted the rain, laying to him. And our circle is locked to the dressing room, but they're breaking through the door. Mike Tyson comes out. He f- beats the fuck out of him. Sean Spears, honestly, proving the old age from two weeks ago. Sean Spears, the bunk guy for Pinnacle. Jericho Tyson shake hands. Think their dec- decade long feud has come to an end. The crowd chants in a circle made for the first time ever. Pinnacle tears out the heel set of the ring. 
side. Tony's with Brit, Brit earlier. Brit has an announcement as a request for Tony Khan. She says he's giving the people what they want. A championship match for her. She calls the ranking system bullshit. She said matches should have been given based on star power, and merch sales, and the demo. She says she'll do it their dumb way, though. She's going to be on Dark Dynamite Elevation again. Her win's up. We got Kenny Omega sending the Bucks out the Super King Mox at the match. They pulled the trigger. They committed to Kenny. Yes, the Young Bucks had turned heel. So, we got heel Bucks for next week against Pac and Ray Phoenix. So, this is my AEW reviews. I'll see, I'll see you next week. And, bye-bye.